everybody. Welcome back to Healthy Habit Friday. I survived week one. And for anyone looking for a recap, it looked a little something like this. Just a few minutes of Christmas left. I had my green tea today and I had soda just as a pick me up. This is not working out in my favor. I'm tired from not having coffee. But I guess I survived day four, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, day four, on the books. Good night, y'all. It was a rough week, but at the end of it, I discovered something super important. Coffee and creamer, definitely one of my vices. I was totally using it as a crutch before for stressful situations rather than facing my stress head on. It was good to be able to come off of the coffee and drink tea instead and not just for the stress reasons i was also able to counteract getting sick which probably had something to do with stress but my son has been sick and he likes to share things with me um you know his drinks he his food his germs so instead of being sick last week i was able to counteract the bug that was coming on with by adding some gypsy cold care or some green tea or some throat coat tea to my green tea um, so I didn't get sick. My energy levels actually began to level out towards the end of the week. I felt pretty good um, by yesterday, day seven. <laughs> and I finally, also I bought the tea kettle that I've been wanting. So, yay. So it's Friday and I have to pick up a new habit and put down an old one now. Um, as I was going through my journey this week with no coffee, I noticed that I wasn't drinking enough water. Um, I was picking up other things to drink like juice or soda. So this week I've decided my new healthy habit is going to be to put down the sugary drinks, which I have some of my son's juice, and pick up the water jug. So we all know we should drink more water, right? Not only are our bodies made up of 60% of water, but our, we actually are well maintained if we stay hydrated. Staying hydrated increases our energy and it decreases our chances of fatigue. It promotes weight loss, it flushes toxins, prevents cramps, boosts your immune system. It can even get rid of headaches. But how much is enough water? Good question. I have heard several answers to this throughout the years. This is kind of going off my experience this week. So I've heard growing up that eight glasses of water a day is about as much water as you need. So that's about 64 ounces. I've also heard that you can take half of your weight, divide your weight in half, and drink that much in ounces. Another thing I've heard from a health and nutrition coach is that you should actually drink a gallon of water a day. So a gallon of water is actually really close to what half of my body weight is. So this week I'm going to drink, I'm going to attempt to get to the gallon instead of the ounces that are half of my body weight. If you want to try this at home and you don't have a gallon size jug like I do here, um, which I got this over at Whole Foods if you're looking for one, but you can also go to the grocery store and pick up just a regular gallon size jug of water. Um, or if you like to do pallets of bottled water just for a little bit more convenience, um, those are 16.9 ounces and seven and a half of those would be your gallon. Um, if you're looking to do just regular bottles, like this one is 16 ounces from Walmart, um, this gallon, a gallon has 128 ounces, so you would just count out how much you would need out of these. Um, so now I have all this water, but when am I supposed to drink it? Okay, so I found this really cool Pinterest graphic, and it says that you should drink two glasses of water when you wake up, one before a meal, one before bath, one before bed. That's five glasses of water. That's only 40 ounces. So what about the rest of the water? Okay. I've downloaded a free app onto my phone and I'm going to use it to notify me when I need to chug. That way, at the end of the day, I get all of my ounces and I'm fully hydrated. So, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want to catch up with me and find out how my week of water is going, please follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, or on Snapchat, all at epi for life and let me know what you think down in the comment section. See you next week.